Hurry up. Schmidt beer, the brew that grew to be best in the Great Northwest. Your finest craft beer, Rocky. Man to man, smoke Roy Tan. Cheers, everyone, and welcome to the Unfiltered Gentlemen. And now, here are Greg, Scott, and Dan, coming at you ice cold and unfiltered. That's right. Welcome in, everybody. It's the Unfiltered Gentlemen. Thanks for joining. Thanks for listening. Most of all, thanks for drinking along. I am Greg Rowe. That's Scott. What about it? And that's Dan. Whoa. Yeah, right? <laughs> Joey Lawrence over there. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Uh, thanks for joining, everybody. Huge shout out to our top listening city of last week, which this time was Port Chester, New York. Whoa. What Port Chester. Mean? Never heard of it. Nope. Uh, so thanks for listening, Port Chester. Right. Yes. Way to put yourself on the map there, yo. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. You're now officially Finally. famous. Yeah. It's going to be an influx of people moving to Port Chester now. <laughs> Uh, also, Burp Word of the Week. For those of you new to the show, Burp Word of the Week is uh, if you burp on mic, it has to be an attempt at the burp word, and this week's burp word is Large Farva. Mm. Ooh. We will get into that ah, soon enough. Large okay. Farva. Don't forget the hashtag, show us your beers. Uh, rate and subscribe on iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. And uh, it was so weird. I found him sitting on the porch one week later, still there. Brian's back again. Brian, thanks for joining. Whoa. I'm surprised as you are. <laughs> <laughs> so is your wife. It's so she's like, well, "Have you seen Ryan? He's still on the porch. It's so weird, but whatever." <laughs> Here you guys have beer. So uh, Brian's gonna hang out. He brought our bullpen beer, which I am most excited to get to. Oh, snap! Well, most excited. Welcome. Uh, had to make it up to you guys for last week <laughs> for that shit show. Come on. <laughs> Just kidding. There's no helping that. No, that had nothing to do with Did you. You put yourself on blast there, Brian. Yeah, I think so. After the show, Brian spilled beer. Oh. oh. What? San, Alco- huh? That's alcohol abuse yeah. right there. Yeah. Well, then he was sans beer. <laughs> it was sad. Sans beer. Yeah, sans we had to cut him off. Yeah, yeah. he was done. So uh, We're going to be quiet about it. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to say anything. <laughs> keep it under wraps. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm an asshole. All right, speaking of beer, let's get right into it. Grab your libations, pals. It's time for Beer of the Week. And if you're drinking well, you know that you're my friend And I say, I think I'll have myself a beer We're having ourselves a beer This comes to us from Lupulin Brewing It's called Hooey IPA Oh Hooey This comes uh, from our Tavor subscription It's 6.2% 60 IBUs Has a 4.06 on Untapped and a 94 on Beer Advocate they say this IPA is hopped with a ridiculous amount of the juiciest hops available. In order to bring you the most hop flavor possible, we intentionally leave yeast and hop oils in the beer by not filtering them out. Some say that's a lot of hooey. What the hell do they know anyways? Crazy, juicy, hazy, hooey. Sounds kind of lazy to me, but let's see. <laughs> we'll see how it tastes. Yeah, they're getting bored at this point. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna leave everything in the in the fermenter. There. I did not dry hop it. I did not. <laughs> that was a good one though. You like that? Yeah. Oh hi, Mike. Oh hi, Mike. That was pretty good. Yeah. Look at all these hops. <laughs> I gotta say, right off the bat, beautiful can. It is nice can art. Oh yeah, for sure. Hashtag cans for cans. Mm-hmm. Oh man, it catches your eye big time. One of those oranges and greens. What is it a picture of actually? I don't even know. Like there's a hop in the middle. Okay. And then lots of color around oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, see. Man, it's beautiful. You know, it looks like a bunch of hooey to me. <laughs> it, yeah. Uh, you could be right. <laughs> help help right. Brian out with his dad jokes. <laughs> uh, all right. What do you guys think of this one? Brian, what say you? Well, it's another hazy. It's yeah, it's hazy-ish. It's like uh, hazy adjacent. I can sort of see my hand through it. It's got it's got good uh, it's got good aroma, uh, you know, tropical mm-hmm. kind of mm-hmm. fruity aroma. For me, it's a little too to the creamy side. Okay, I can see that. I mean, they said they added a whole bunch of hops. I I get less hops than some of the other hazies I've had, but yeah, I get a lot of pine on it though. And you're really good at describing beer. Not as good as you guys. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, get along, I, I know buddy. my job here is to <laughs> do quick, quick, quick-witted quick, snaps <laughs> that I just fucked up right now. Yeah, can't and, handle that. And drink beer. Yes. Yeah. Dan, what say you? It's good. Yeah? <laughs> That's so quick-witted. I mean? Yeah. 
<laughs> I, I get a lot of pine on this one. A little bit of tropical. Um, yeah, it it's not quite as, as juicy as they make it out to be. It's 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 a good IPA, but I wouldn't call it like a juicy you know haze bomb. Or it's anything interesting like that. though. Like I totally co-sign with Brian though in the sense that it's so juicy, it almost like kind of borders on a hazy. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean it, it kind of definitely yeah. It happens to be hazy. I guess it's yeah. unfiltered, so in True that, that sense, it's hazy. It's True not that. like they use. I don't think they use oats in it, like all the hazy. Oh, okay, do. okay. I don't know. I didn't couldn't find that information. Mm. Scott, what say you? Oh, I, I like it, and and like Dan, I'm here to keep the ratings low. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I think I'm doing a good job. You're doing a great job. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you deserve can't, a raise. Where did it say that on your job description? <laughs> <laughs> you have to read the fine print. Oh, yeah. I see. <laughs> yeah, it's in his contract. Yeah, so keeping us humble. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's good. It's not bad. It's just I, I get a little bit of a excess mouthfeel at the end, like the back end of it. It's kind of coating a little bit. Yeah, it coats know. the tongue with a little. It, it almost is like a, a very tanniny wine. I don't know. Does beer have tannins in it like wine does? I don't think so. Okay, well it has that same effect <laughs> that like a, a tanniny earthy wine would have hmm. on on your tongue. Where's this brewery, by the way? Uh, oh, I don't know. Hooey, uh, Big Lake, Minnesota. Ooh. Oh, Minnesota. The big lake. The oh, big that was a good lake. accent. I like that one. <laughs> you got some family out there? Or? No, I just uh, watched Fargo. Like. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There you darn tootin'. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining hops. Oh, dear. All right. Uh, we've got some stuff to get to, some bullpen. We have a new review from Allie and Callie. She's back with a new beer review. Uh, Dan's going to like the name of this one. We've got, of course, Beer Baby of the Week. We got a new listener email. A bullpen beer that I cannot begin to explain how excited mm-hmm. for. I, like it could taste like shit, and I'm still excited. We'll <laughs> we'll find out, and then a bunch of booze news to get to. And at the very end of the show, we will talk about or we will announce who the winner of the 818 uh, contest winner oh, is. Me. Oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> keep your fingers crossed over oh. there. So uh, let's get right into some crotch talk. Have a grievance to share? It's time for a crotch talk. I uh, am sans grievance. Wow. But I know Dan fucked something up. Oh, my God, oh dude. <laughs> I hurt my back like an old man. Oh, Here I go, like, no. I shave. I look nice and young again, and right. I'm in shape. And it's like, yeah, I'm going to go do some yard work. Like, <laughs> you know, everyone else on my fucking block who's older than me and shames me from buying, you know, paying somebody to do it for me. Right. And so, yeah, I'm out there with my dog getting in the way, almost chopping his head off and shit. And, sure. Yeah, and I'm whacking some weeds, and I'm, I'm twisting my back around. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. I just hear, like, this fleshy pop like and i'm like oh, oh no yeah i borderline scream it hurts that bad instead i just kind of yell right it's like a manly yell oh, right. I, yeah. Not, yeah yeah no 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 yeah. <laughs> it was like oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> and then so my my dog senses weakness and right. just immediately starts <laughs> jumping on me to finish me off just eating your leg yeah, oh my god he was trying to kill me i'm, I'm yeah. certain of it i don't know why else maybe because i screamed i have no idea i did yell didn't Smart scream. Boy. Smart Fruity boy. and slip there. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. And um, oh man, and it's just been hurting ever since. Like I just like just to get up from a sit down position. Like I'm not I'm gonna be here next week for the show. Yeah. I'm not gonna move. <laughs> this is it. Have any uh good drugs yet? No, not oh. yet. So I have been putting like uh like you know, like icy hot, right? Like on my back, but the, the over the counter stuff. Yeah, exactly. No, you need some of the goods. I really do. Need some muscle relaxers. Oh man, you can't get your hand on any of that. Just smoke a couple bowls of weed. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> the problem is, you get too high, whether it's weed or muscle relaxers. You think you're like, oh, I'm good now. And you start doing shit, and you're like, oh, I am not good now. Yeah. I'm just see, high now. Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Yeah. So, like, take a couple muscle relaxers, wash it down with some tasty beer, and just chill for a couple of days. Don't think you're invincible. Okay. That I, I've thrown my don't back out. Don't be a hero, Dan. You don't be a hero. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a hero. <laughs> the worst was I threw my back out sneezing one time. Oh, man. So, you're not, you're not the worst here. At least I was doing yard work. Yeah, at least you're doing yeah. something kind of manly. Yeah. You guys I, are old. Yeah, I bent over, and like mid-bend over, I sneezed, like a real violent sneeze, and I just felt this like, pop! I was like, oh, fuck. I just went to the ground. I was like, I'm not even going to try to stand back up. This is <laughs> this is insane. That's scary. Yeah, it was. It was oh, you went to the ground too. Yeah, I was like already half bent over. Oh yeah. When it, so I was like, I'm just I'm just going to go all the way down here. Oh. It's, uh, this is going to hurt. 
That's why you have the medic alert bracelet. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Help, I've fallen. Yeah. I can't you, get you, and that was the thing, too. I thought, if I go to the ground, my dog's going to eat me, probably. <laughs> so I was like, I, I stayed up. I, I really felt like going to the ground. Yeah. I did. But I, I stood up, and I just screamed like a man. Yeah. Yelled like a man. Nice. Right. And uh, yeah, yelled, 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 yelled. Maybe not immediately, but by dinner time. Yeah, the dog's it, drooling. Yeah. It was licking his lips. Yeah, Ready little bastard. Yeah. He's all getting in my way and everything. It's crazy. <laughs> a good dog work. would have helped you out. I know. Yeah, I dragged you into the house. It right. seemed seem that way. On like he was like eating some of the the weeds and stuff that I was whacking. <laughs> yeah. I was like, good job, buddy. Yeah, he's a yeah. cow. Are you sure you have a dog? <laughs> he's about the same size. Yeah, <laughs> he's pretty big. <laughs> yeah. But then eventually, like yeah, I was, I was like whacking the weeds. He's like getting in the way purposely. I'm like, oh, dude, Jesus. do you not understand? This will chop your legs off. Like get out of the way, dude. <laughs> Let's like, play. Yeah. Oh, God. Crazy. Well, I hope you uh, have a speedy recovery. I hope so, too. Yeah, and lots of drugs. This is crazy. Yeah. Makes you feel old as fuck. It does. Yeah. It really does. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate. I, I'm Right now, my hip is out. Oh, How old boy. is that? Good Lord. And it's causing my left butt cheek to go numb. Yeah, it's a lot of really? fun. I need to get to the chiropractor. Oh, man. It's, it's a lot of fun. I'm not trying to one-up your injury. No, your, no, no. Yours sounds much worse. Yeah. I, I just have a little bit of a numb butt. Hey. It happens. <laughs> it happens. Numb butt, right? Yeah. Numb, numb butt. Numb butt. Okay. Yes, exactly. Right. Numb so. butt. Those yeah. aren't good, man. Probably not. It's better than like a numb left arm. Right? Yeah. Or a numb nut. Yeah. yeah. You ever realize like how important your butt is? Very until important. Until it goes oh. to sleep Dumb. or something. Yeah. You stay on the toilet too long, like on Twitter or something. We've oh. all been there. Oh, yeah. You go to stand up. Yeah. And yeah. You go, oh, it's like, Lord. oh my God, I yeah, need my butt. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> I need my butt. Yeah. <laughs> it is true. <laughs> Didn't realize how important my butt was. Yeah. Really. No kidding. I thought it was just there for looks. Stayed here on the toilet for two hours. Yeah. 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 So it, it, it'll happen to you. It gets the best of us. <laughs> uh, all right. Anybody else? Any crotch talk we should discuss? Everybody feeling good? Everybody uh, yeah. staying hydrated? About as good as I can. I got some delicious beer here. Yeah. yeah. Hold me over here. Hopefully uh, it'll uh, cure what ails you. I hope so. Mm -hmm. All right. We uh, have a new- Want to do some yard work? <laughs> <laughs> Not this week. Grass is looking a little long <laughs> Talk back, to me right? next week. Yeah. Uh, we have a new beer review from our friend Allie and Callie. Oh, cool. She is reviewing a beer I've never heard of before called Poggy Style. Hey gentlemen, it's Allie and Callie, and I am actually coming to you today from Las Catalinas, Costa Rica. Pack some suitcase beers with me, so I'm going to be doing a review of Iron Fire Brewing Company, which is out of Temecula, California, their new release of Poggy Style. It's a hazy double IPA with passion fruit, blood orange, and guava. Let's give it a try. If you can smell... Mmm, I definitely can smell the passion fruit in the guava. I actually am getting a hint of, kind of smells like papaya a little bit. Very fruity. Let's take a drink. <laughs> well played, Iron Fire. Now I understand the Poggy style reference. This beer is dank and dangerously smooth at a 9% ABV. I can also taste the guava and the passion fruit. Yeah, this is a great, great beer. Highly recommend it. It's a seasonal, so try to get your hands on it ASAP. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks for uh, coming on, sharing some Poggy style with us. Oh, uh, man. You, you can follow Allie at Allie in Cali. It's A-L-L-Y dot I-N dot C-A-L-L-Y on the Instagrams. Oh, Allie, I got to have that beer, yo. I, as soon as I saw it, I was like, Dan's going to love this shit. Oh, yeah. And and the can art is fantastic. It is looks it like the doggy style Get album. the fuck out of here. Are you serious? I'm sure they will be sued for it. I need this. <laughs> yeah, we got to get this. this. We got to get this for you. And they sell it locally? Uh, yeah, it's from Temecula. I haven't seen it around here okay. in our neck of the woods, but I am keeping an eye out on yeah, it. So, definitely. For it so. Who put Ain't No Fun on there? Was that you? That was me. Oh, my God. I was like, what's a good uh, song for Dude, Doggy Style? It's only like my favorite song of all time. Right? Oh, so my good. God. So good. I, I, I couldn't do either that or uh, nothing but a G thing. Oh, yeah. I went to Ain't Dope. No Fun. You picked the right one. Good, good. Thank you. So uh, make sure you guys follow Allie in Cali for even more. And we'll post some pictures of the can so you guys can see the awesome can art. Yes. Uh, old timey word of the week, Clasomaniac. Clasomaniac. It's one who can only speak by shouting. Hmm. <laughs> oh, God. Steve Ballmer. Steve. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's a Clasomaniac. <laughs> oh, God. Great example. That was good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I had one of those Clasomaniacs on the uh, bachelor party last weekend. Just as a guest with you? Or? Yeah, as uh, not on... Not 
within my party. Uh, I will say one of the uh, the ladies. Oh, yeah. I think Nick put it best when he said, "Does she ever come up for air?" <laughs> <laughs> Just would not stop. Very oh, loud. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's class things up a little bit over here. No one could blame you for bed swerving. It's time for Beer Babe of the Week. Yes, indeed. Uh, this week's Beer Babe of the Week, you can follow her on the Instagrams at Norsk Brewer. N-O-R-S-K-E Brewer. All one word. Norsk Brewer. And this picture, she is carrying a keg, and that is awesome. I want to be her friend. Oh, man. Carrying a keg. Just, it's G'd up. Yeah, like it ain't no thing. She kind of looks afraid, though. Afraid someone's going to tackle her for her keg. <laughs> could yeah. Be. Yeah. It's like, oh, she, Dan's over there. She could be struggling for the picture. It could, yeah. You know, one hand on the keg, it's one like, hand on the, the camera. Picture, yeah. Especially if it's like a selfie. You know, oh, she's yeah. like one it's hand in both. And, even more impossible. Yeah. It's, oh, God. Yeah. She does CrossFit. She definitely does CrossFit. Or That's keg. worth a follow right there. Yeah, keg fit. So make sure you follow her on the grams at Norsk Brewer. I think you'll be glad you did. For sure. Uh, oh, that was a quick fade. Yeah. We have a new listener email. This one comes to us uh, sans subject, <laughs> but says, hey, gents. <laughs> Brian's here. We got all the sans references as possible. Hey, gents. I'm a bartender in Florida near the beach. The following is an exchange I had with some douche. Please oh. never be this guy. Allison. Customer tonight, what beers do you have on tap? As he's looking at me through the four tap handles we have in the bar. <laughs> me, Bud Light, Corona Light, Dosa Keys, and Dosa Keys Amber. That's sad. I know, right? <laughs> you got to get a new job, first of all. Uh-huh. Customer. So no Budweiser? Me. Oh, man. No, sir. Just the four I told you we have. Okay. I'll just have a Dosa Keys. Would you like the Amber or the Lager? I don't care. You pick. Me. Pours a Lager because it's what I prefer and know it's a non-win situation. <laughs> customer receives his beer i wanted the amber what the fuck me i'm sorry sir would you like me to switch it out customer no i guess this will be fine even though it's not what i wanted me again (laughs) again i apologize and would be happy to get you the beer you want i must have understood how about some chips and salsa to munch on customer i'll just drink this beer and no thank you i just came here to drink 17.3 seconds later Customer, um, excuse me, can I get some chips and salsa or is that too much to ask for? Me, I'm sorry, sir. Again, I must have misunderstood you when you said no, thank you. I'll grab you some. <laughs> Customer, once I put the chips and salsa down. Um, I told you I just came here to drink. I don't want these. Holy shit. And she says, what in the actual fuck? That is called bipolar disorder. Yeah. Or, yeah. or schizophrenia. Or schizophrenia. Yeah. <laughs> Or in layman's or, terms, an, an asshole. Yeah. Punch this guy in the face. Oh, was shit. she getting punked? <laughs> it feels like it, me, right? Me, myself, and Irene? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is this doing in here? Jesus Christ. This has a split personality I over here. just came here to drink. Yeah. Give me some chips. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he was like mutating from like drunk customer to customer. Oh, it could know? be. Yeah. He's kind of like hulking up. He's like, yeah, I don't, I don't want. I just came here to drink. And then he gets a little drunk. He's like, yeah, I want some chips, man. Where are those chips, man? I'm getting hungry. You don't want to see me when i'm hungry that's right yeah then he mellowed out with some water and he's like i don't want any chips yeah no i'm good I'm, yeah <laughs> i don't think there's enough alcohol in a dose of <laughs> to do that that's true <laughs> that is accurate yeah co-sign that yeah and not enough flavor either uh yeah don't be that douchebag at the bar that's doing that no one no one likes that be a man know what you want yeah come in there order a goddamn beer and tell right. her you want some chips and salsa Always say chips and salsa. Yeah, who doesn't like Who chips says no to chips and salsa? That's right. Who says no to free beer? I mean, excuse me, free food. No yeah. one says no to free beer. More beer. Yeah, but uh, yeah, asshole. Agreed. Mm-hmm. All right, we have a bullpen beer to get to that I'm very excited for, so let's see if we can pass this around. It's in a bottle, which means it's fancy. As it gets around, the gentleman- Don't drop it now. The gentleman will see the name, and, and I know at least Dan will get very excited for this. At least I hope so. I hope everyone does. Um very exciting for so while they're pouring I, yes. I my apologies i did have something for crotch talk all right let's talk about news <laughs> moving on yes uh, it's actually a public service announcement oh okay experience i had i went to stop by the store the other night on my way from work i decided hey you know what 
I want to get me a six pack of torpedo. I love you know. Oh yeah, just you know Sierra Nevada. Correct. So I stopped by the store, grabbed me a six pack of torpedo. I got home and I was saying drinking my torpedoes. Probably the, I drank the first one. The second one I pulled out, I'm like this looks different hmm. from torpedo, and it was actually a a pale L. Somebody had put three oh. torpedoes and three pale L's in a Sierra Nevada like six the, pack. Like somebody was fucking with the six pack? Yeah. Or or so, some idiot wanted a Sierra Nevada but also wanted some something torpedoes. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. So I, I'm just gonna, you know, encourage everybody always check your six packs before you leave the store. That is a public service announcement. Yes, it indeed. is. Yeah. I was just I mean Pale L's nothing, you know, it's it's good. Yeah, there's nothing wrong I, with yeah, it. It's I, a solid I'm, beer. Yeah, I went ahead and, you know, of course drank it. Yeah. Hey. You but, know, yeah, just check check your six packs before you leave the store. That is a good PSA. I mean, there's people like you know using and spitting back in mouthwash and shit. Now you got people yeah. screwing around with your yeah, six I packs. Mean, yeah, what's worse than that? That's yeah. right. Yeah. Well, well, thank you for. Uh, well, yeah. I who mean, needs mouthwash when you got beer? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. I didn't want that to happen to anybody else. Yeah. yeah no, well, that's thank you. I mean, yeah. at least they didn't put something shitty in there. Yeah. Right. I mean, I might have noticed, but since the you know they're both one's dark green, one's light green. Right. And once I pulled out the light green, I go, wait, why is this light Weird. green? Wait, pale L. Oh my god. You know, I will say I was at the local grocery store the other day. And I was in the beer aisle, and a bunch of beer had this red tag that said, like, uh, not fire sale, but uh, extreme discount or some shit like that. And I started looking, and I was like, oh, there's a pretty good amount of decent beer that's on sale right now. Uh, let me see what's left. And all of them were gone, unfortunately. And there was all, like, half-off stuff, too. And I was like, ooh, that... Oh, no, it's empty. Oh, oh that one's gone. <laughs> it was like, oh, they got some Golden Roads left. Not doing that. <laughs> and then there it was, tucked away in the corner, half-off. Grapefruit sculpting. Nope. Better. Modern Times Ooh, Black House. What? Ooh. Black House. Half off. I got four packs for less than eight bucks. Wow. Bought two. And it felt like that IKEA commercial. I ran out of the grocery store. The, the lady froze in the car. I was like, start the car. <laughs> start the car. It was delicious. <laughs> I've already had four of them. Uh, all right. Damn. <laughs> That's how you do it. It was a long weekend. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It was good. Everybody have beer now? Yes. Let's make that call. He calls to the bullpen for beer. Open bar, dude. (laughs) Uh, I am so goddamn excited for this. Uh, Brian told me about this a few days ago, and I was like, we must have this on the show. What? No, you'll continue. (laughs) So we did. Or we did. We're we're doing it now. This comes to us uh, from the brewery. I mean, from Brian, but from the brewery. It's called Leder. It's hard to say proper Lederacola. It's like it's got the L. In the, it's Lederacola. Lederacola. Yeah. But it's got the L apostrophe Duracola. It's like French. We know what it is. Yes, <laughs> it's goddamn Lederacola. It's not a large farva. It is not a large <laughs> farva. Uh, Seven point one percent. It has a 77 on Beer Advocate, nothing I could find on Untapped. Le- from the brewery, Liter of Cola is a beer inspired by another favorite drink of ours that probably shouldn't be such a favorite, Cola. To create this unique beer, we had to dive through the overwhelming layer of saccharin that dominates the flavor of most colas and discover the subtle flavors that creates the world's most popular soft drink. Around a dozen different spices were added to a dark malt base and it was finished off with a twist of lime for good measure. The resulting beer has all the flavors of an ice cold cola without an overwhelming sweetness, delightfully refreshing on its own, but also ideal for a modern take on a classic style cocktail, classic style cocktail. Wow. Reading's hard today. Yeah. Um, yeah. He texted me the other night and I was like, oh my God, that sounds phenomenal. I've never heard it. I must have it now. What do you guys think of liter of cola? Oh my God. Do you like it? It tastes like cola. That's what I'm tripping on. It does. On. It's weird. That's what I was tripping on. I didn't mean to interrupt you like right in the beginning of what you're telling everybody we're drinking, but I almost did. I almost said, holy <laughs> shit, it tastes like cola. Everybody's like, what is he talking about? But it totally does. It tastes like cola. Yeah. like And not in a weird Stormy Daniels or uh, <laughs> dark, and stormy. dark and stormy kind of way. <laughs> right. Sorry, I call it Stormy Daniels so much. This isn't bad. It's weird. It's a little Agreed. weird, but it's drinkable. So this one's from 2015. It's, you know, it's so it's obviously aged a little bit in the bottle. Sure. But uh, when I had it back in 2015, when it was first bottled, I think it tasted even more like cola. I, I mean, it smelled like you stick your nose in here. It's like, oh, that's definitely a Coke. Like it smells like a cola with a yeah. hint of lime. And like the flavor is not far off of that smell either. 
and it doesn't really have a style. Mm-mm. It's just an ale. Yeah, which is you know any beer that's not a lager. So, <laughs> right, it's basically a beer. Uh, for some reason, this wasn't working. Now it's going to work. Give me a uh, double bacon cheeseburger. Double bacon cheeseburger. It's for a cop. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's that all about? You gonna spin it now? <laughs> no, I was just telling him that so he makes it good. <laughs> Don't spit in that cop's burger. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> Holding the spit. Give me a uh, pie, apple. <laughs> Do you want me to hold the spit? <laughs> Just kidding, Officer Farva. So, um... Do you want to dip a size your meal for a quarter more? Want me to punch a size your face for free? <laughs> now don't give me any lip. It's just a quarter, and look how much more you get. I said no. It's just 25 cents. Hey, listen, guy. He doesn't want it. I can handle this, Ramathorn. I don't want it. Right. Uh, beverage? Give me a, uh, liter of cola. <laughs> a what? A liter of cola. Liter of cola? Do we make liter of cola? <laughs> Will you just order a large farva? I don't want a large farva. I want a goddamn liter of cola. I don't know what that is. Leader is French. Forgive me some fucking cola before I break Boo's fucking leg. All right, all right, relax. Oh, it's the best. <laughs> Don't like spit to you. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Oh, uh, that, that's probably like my favorite movie of all time. Oh it's, man, that is so good. There you go. <laughs> there it is. Hey, Greg, what's that uh, restaurant you like going to? <laughs> oh, you mean shenanigans? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Put that away. Farva, what's that restaurant I like going to? All the goofy shit in the wall and the cheese sticks? <laughs> so specific. I just like to the the uh, what's his name? Ramathorn. Yeah. You never find out what fucking race he is. Right. It like bothers you throughout the whole movie. <laughs> they think I'm Mexican. <laughs> You're not Mexican? <laughs> He's yeah. like, I'll take a chinchilla. <laughs> yeah. Which doesn't make any sense. In the beginning, they're like, hey, that's like a, that black magic. Hey, He's like brown magic. Yeah. I'm like, it doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> like, what is he? <laughs> Uh, that is the best movie and I will say Super Troopers 2 pretty fucking fantastic also <laughs> like I was pretty ready to be disappointed because like Anchorman 2 was garbage but yeah Su- Super Troopers 2 is fantastic I still have not seen that movie it still doesn't hold a candle to the first one though oh yeah mm-hmm. I mean but Rob Lowe was pretty fantastic <laughs> that guy doesn't age it's a no. vampire it's because he's doing Atkins I've seen the commercials. Is that what that is? <laughs> Have you seen him doing the Atkins commercials? No. Oh, he's apparently doing the Atkins diet because oh, he's on really? all their commercials. I do Atkins. It's a vampire, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's how he does it. Like, if that's what makes you hot, then I'll start doing Atkins, too. Right. I'm not that far off. So, uh, uh, all right. So, Brian, thank you for bringing in. Yeah, yes. thank you. My Absolutely. favoritely named that's a beer treat. of all time. I do what I can. Yeah. I appreciate you guys having me again. Didn't think it was going to happen. Yeah, but, after uh, you spilled that beer, it almost didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't forgiven myself. <laughs> Neither have we. It's fine. <laughs> we kid. We kid. Uh, very excited. Like, it's it's weird, but I'm glad we got to try it. Was it better? Would you say it was better when you first had it or better now? I think it was a little bit better when I first had it, but I think it also needs to be ice cold to get the full effect of yeah, it. Yeah, it has been out for uh, 20 minutes or so. So, yeah. So, I mean, other than that, I think it still tastes true to what it was. Yeah. Um, it does taste like a cola. It's a trip. Like, it's not like a dark and stormy where it just tastes like liquid throw up. Fool some of your friends that don't want to get drunk. I'll just have a soda. <laughs> so, I'll give you a soda. Yeah. I got I to drive. I'll take a Coke. So okay. How about, how about a liter of cola? <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh, okay. I don't want a large farva. <laughs> oh, so good. All right. We got more show to get to. As much as I want to do more Super Troopers quotes. I could really do it all night, but uh, we have show to get to. We have news. Extra, extra, drink all about it. It's time for booze news. Open bar, dude. <laughs> uh, I thought this was interesting. <laughs> had to. He should just be a member of the show now. He really should. <laughs> yeah. I thought this was interesting. Somebody put together a little infographic of all the gold medal winning IPAs from 1989 to 2018. They did this in honor of IPA Day, which was a couple weeks back, but uh, I just found this a few days ago. I thought we'd go through it. It started in 1989. I won't read everything because we'll be here a while, but uh, some of the interesting ones. 1989, Rubicon Brewing Company won for their IPA. They also won in 1990. In 91, Seabright Brewing Company, or Inc., Seabright Brewing Inc. won for their Banty Rooster IPA. In 92, Hubcap Brewery and Kitchen 
one for their Solstice Ale. Uh, Estes Park Brewery, one in 93 for Renegade Red. So far, let's see, the first three were California, then Colorado, Colorado, back to Colorado. Uh, in 94 and 95, Hubcap Brewery and Kitchen, one for their Big D's Vale Pale Ale. Oh, shit. Big D. Uh, in 96, Albuquerque, New Mexico's Vid- Vicino Brewing Company, uh, one for their IPA. Prescott's Ponderosa IPA in 96. In 97, Marin Brewing's IPA in 98. Castle Springs Brewing Luck Now IPA. 5280 Roadhouse in Colorado won in 1998 for their Pike IPA. Finally, something we've heard of. Mm-hmm. 1999, Bear Republic's Racer 5. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Winning awards since 99. Nice. Remember saying it? Yeah. And then in 2000, this is for the World Beer Cup, not GABF. All the other ones have been GABF. Uh, Russian River won for their IPA. Uh, then 2000 for GABF. Slow Brewing won for their IPA. We had them last week. Uh, in 2001, GABF Sleeping Giant Brewing Company. Uh, 2002 was Drake's Brewing Company, Drake's IPA. I bet we've probably all had Drake's, right? Had the Denogonizer. Mm-hmm. It's decent. That oh, was yeah. pretty good. Uh, hoppy A. That's like old school kicking the teeth with hops. I like it. Yeah, that's Dan style. Uh, 2003, Hoptown Brewing Company from Pleasanton, California. One for their Hoptown IPA. I wonder if they're still around. I have to go up there every now and then for the Lady Friends family. Uh, in 2004, Pelican Pub and Brewery. One for their India Pelican Ale. <laughs> funny in 2005 i didn't know this santa barbara brewing company won for their castle rock ipa oh Oh, rest in peace santa barbara brewing company right Mm -hmm. uh bend oregon's uh bend brewing company won in 2006 for their hophead imperial ipa 2007 odell brewing won for ipa 2008 firestone walkers union jerk (laughs) sorry i had to that is always in my fridge yeah always they also won in 2009 stuff Mm mm-hmm uh, 2010, Pizza Port won for Pseudo IPA. In 2011, La Cumbre Brewing won for Elevated IPA. 2012, Tappet Brewing won for IPA. Barley Brown's Brew Pub won in 2013 for Pallet Jack IPA. Uh, 2014, Breakside Brewery won for the Breakside IPA. 2015, I guess I'm going to go through all these. <laughs> BNS. Didn't Tappet get bought out by Slow? Or they got bought out by somebody. They got bought out by somebody, I think. Yeah, that's... Because there, there's no tap it anymore. Right. I think you're correct. It, I don't know if it's slow or if it was um, the other one that's up there. What's that sour place up there? Oh, it's not Libertine. It's not Libertine? No, they Oh, didn't. then it's probably slow. That'd be my my guess then. BNS Brewing won in 2015 for Revolver IPA. 2016, Georgetown Brewing for Bodhisattva IPA. Bodhisattva. Bodhisattva. Okay, look at <laughs> you. <laughs> 2017, Hell, uh, Hellstorm Brewing one for Prairie Madness. Please, somebody. Uh, and then Root Down Brewing, one in 2018 for their Bine. They're from Phoenixville, PA. So I just thought that was interesting, all these uh, IPA winners through the years. Took about n- until 99 until we'd heard of something. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if many of those places are still going from the early Yeah, I have a the feeling 90s. they're not. It's yeah. kind of sad. Yeah, yeah I like it is. Hubcap Brewery and yeah. Kitchen. <laughs> Only John Hickenlooper survives. Yes. <laughs> Holy shit. You're vote, right. Vote for Hickenlooper. Yes. Our yeah. next president. Exactly. <laughs> Make America drunk again. Yes, that indeed. bastard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Rogue, we all, I think we all know and love Rogue, yeah. has rolled out their ready-to-drink canned cocktails using spirits from their distillery. Whoa. So it's like the, the seltzer craze that's going on, but it's not seltzer. It's, it's actual cocktails in a can. Coming straight from Rug. They're trying, uh, trying to jump on that train. I don't know how to feel about that. Yeah, that's uh, not my style. Correct. I'll drink a couple of seltzers, but I don't know about these cocktail things. I've had a couple from uh, Cutwater that mm. weren't bad, but then Cutwater just recently sold out. So Yeah, they sold the AB. Cutwater, of course, the spirit side of uh, Ballast Point. They were not part of the billion-dollar buyout. Stupid. And then they just sold to Bud. God, I wish I was them. Sell the uh, Constellation for a billion, then Budweiser for undisclosed. Well, and did you hear about what's going on with Constellation now? Do tell. Well, I, I don't know how I don't know how accurate it is. I hey. heard it a week or so ago, but uh, apparently Constellation Brands is in all kinds of hot water with relation to their Corona brand because uh-huh. the brand, the location in Mexico where they're brewing it, 
they cut like a back alley deal with the local government uh-huh. to divert the water supply. So oh, now this is good. they're using the water to brew the beer, apparently, allegedly. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> and the people in the city don't have adequate water. Oh, oh. that sounds like Mexico. Yep, that sounds about right. Uh-huh. I mean, they got to recoup their money from the losses on uh, Ballast Point. So That's true. I see what yeah. they're doing. I feel like Mexico is the million dollar man. Like literally everyone has a price. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? I, I, I kind of don't blame them for trying that. You know, it's like they are in Mexico. It's like, hey, we might as well take advantage of it. Yeah. The government's corrupt. Let's try it. It's a fat old white guy walks out and just starts laughing. Yeah. I wonder who blew the whistle. <laughs> I wonder who blew the whistle on him. I don't know. I got to look, look into it a little more. Yeah. But. Probably like a disgruntled employee or something. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Because they probably paid the whole town hush money. Yeah. Knowing them. Hey, yeah. so make beer. So. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, it's important stuff. Uh, Left Hand Brewing is going to start making non-alcoholic CBD infused drinks. They're jumping on that train. Yeah. <laughs> you don't like CBD? I don't like it. Non- non-alcoholic. I see. <laughs> oh, yeah. Easy for you to say. Damn. Yeah. Anheuser-Busch banned from New Delhi for three years. Accusations of tax evasion has led the government of New Delhi, the capital of India, to slap Anheuser-Busch in bed with a three-year ban from selling its offerings in the city. A three-year investigation of Saab Miller, which AB AB acquired in 2016 for $100 billion, uh, found the beer company was using duplicate barcodes on beer bottles provided to retailers in order to pay lower excise taxes. The world's largest beer manufacturer has denied any wrongdoing and plans to appeal the ban. That's crazy. They got banned for three years from selling their shit. Holy shit. Yeah, India. Tiny, tiny market right there. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) There's one or two people over there. Don't worry about it. You'll be just fine, AB. A Delta pilot... Scott, are you are you flying these days? I have been. Oh, mm-hmm. flying the friendly skies? I have, yes. Mm-hmm. Delta pilot yanked from plane for oh, being drunk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that? Yeah, I do. Travelers hoping to depart from the Minneapolis-St. Paul International Airport on Tuesday morning were forced to delay their plans after the pilot was pulled from the plane and arrested. The man, Gabriel Schroeder, it's a horrible name, wasn't a wanted criminal. Think of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wasn't the, a wanted criminal. He's probably just drunk. First name is exotic, and the second part is just lame. Yeah. <laughs> Schroeder. He was probably on that hooey. He was. <laughs> uh, the plane was fully boarded and essentially ready for takeoff when airport police hauled him off the plane under suspicion of being intoxicated. He was also reportedly carrying alcohol on his person, which is probably a big red flag that something was amiss. It's a long flight. That's true. Yeah. St. Paul to, De- to uh, San Diego. What is the safe airline? Everyone jokes about Delta and JetBlue. Like, what's the safe one? I don't know if this is true anymore, but for years and years, Southwest was the only one that hadn't had a uh, fatality accident. Oh, really? And I think that's still true. Yeah, but they had all those Boeings that they're having all the problems with now, No, No, Southwest only had a few. American had, like, way more. Uh, Southwest had, you know, like, a handful of those uh, 737 Maxes or whatever it was. Shit. So... I don't know what the safe airline is, but the classy one is definitely Emirates, if you ever listen to their commercials. Oh, really? Fly Emirates. <laughs> we have a British voiceover. Yeah, they do, s- they do spend a lot of money on their commercials. Mm-hmm. It's true. And they pay all those soccer teams. To all the soccer teams. Yeah. Yeah. All <laughs> their logos yeah. on there. How half, sil- the, half the league is Emirates. <laughs> right. Well, how silly of Emirates to think Americans like soccer. It's true. Yeah, all of the commercials in America have soccer players in them. We're like, who are these people wearing red shirts? I don't get it. <laughs> Uh, according to spokesman for the airport, Schroeder was acting somewhat bizarre while in TSA inspection line. The pilot apparently left the line after noticing that there were additional screenings being conducted for the crew. He returned to the TSA checkpoint later and then boarded his plane. The airport conducted a quick investigation, declared the pilot was likely unfit to fly, and police took him into custody. It was then that the bottle of alcohol was found in his possession. Uh-oh. The officials didn't say exactly what kind of booze he was toting with them. Damn it. Yeah, I know. Free advertisement. Was he was it whiskey or vodka? Because yeah. this matters. Uh, he wasn't immediately charged with anything, but may uh, stand charges once authorities get back to the get back the official toxicology results. Good job. Fly the friendly skies. Why wouldn't you just wait to get through security if you're gonna do that? I mean, I'm not promoting pilots drinking. Please don't, yeah. The guy was loaded before he went through TSA. Like they're not gonna figure that out. Yeah, how stupid. That's how drunk he was. 
if you think about it. That's true, yeah. You so just I got shit. this. Yeah, like, you know, it's like, hey, I'm like, <laughs> you know, like you when you're getting drunk for the game, you're like, yeah, right. so we don't have to buy beer. And then once you got so <laughs> hammered, you're like, oh, we got to go buy beer now. It's true. <laughs> yeah, it that's how true. drunk he was. He's, yeah. He's, I'm going to get hammered so I don't go out and drink on the plane. You're like, oh, now I need booze. Well, you know, he went into TSA and then like walked away and came back. He probably was like, oh, just a little mouthwash and I'll be fine. And like came back and still mm-hmm. reeked of booze most likely. Probably. Yeah. Smart. Smart. And then finally, uh, in Merrimack, you guys all been to Merrimack? No? All right. Oh, it's, many it's, times. It's in New Hampshire. Yep. Uh, an underage Nashua man facing drunk driving charge after twice jumping the cement median in Merrimack. Oops. Trying to avoid the police uh, when you are accused of driving drunk, don't use your car to jump a cement median twice. <laughs> Or once. Or once. (laughs) Just at all, yeah. An underage Nashua man, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, learned that the hard way. No, you're good on that one. Oh, good. Uh, Nailed it. (laughs) When he was arrested on Sunday by Merrimack police, (laughs) Jacob Hugh, 20, of... uh, They gave his address. I'm not going to read his address. Was charged with reckless driving and operating under the influence of liquor. I guess not beer. They specify (laughs) in New Hampshire. Uh, I guess I'll never get that charge because I'm always drunk on beer. <laughs> Officers were patrolling the area of Continental Boulevard and Industrial Drive when they saw a vehicle make a right turn onto Continental Boulevard from Industrial at a high rate of speed. Oops. The vehicle <laughs> was seen jumping a cement median into the opposite lane of travel, Oops. jumping back over the median and continuing eastbound on Continental Boulevard. Officers stopped the vehicle and made contact with Hugh. He was uh, released on personal recognized recognizance Recognizes. bail. <laughs> there's, a lo- there's a lawyer in the room. <laughs> He used to appear before the Merrimack Night Circuit Court uh, on Thursday. Good luck, Hugh. I don't see the problem here. I mean, what the problem is? Initially, he jumped the barrier because right. he overcorrected, but then he jumped back, and I think that says something for his ability to pilot that car. Yeah, he was in the know. That yeah, that's my reaction. They made it sound like he jumped it twice, but really, what he did is he corrected himself. Yeah, he came back over. Yeah, he fucked up once, really, really bad. <laughs> like, I mean, bad. <laughs> but then he corrected himself. Not so bad. Yeah, exactly. I just don't think he could have been that drunk if you, you know, if he made that maneuver. Oh, he was hammered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he knew to yeah. come back. You know how hammered he was <laughs> when he crossed the median. He's like, I better get back over there <laughs> instead of pulling over and saying I'm too drunk to drive. <laughs> So, that's how drunk he was so just taking a nap at a McDonald's yeah he's like oh shit how did I end up over here <laughs> better get back dun, 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 dun. <laughs> we good <Yeah. laughs> officer why'd you pull me over don't I'm be on the dick. right side of the road yeah I got this <laughs> I corrected <laughs> only a lawyer would try to tell you why he's not that uh, yeah exactly hey do you handle any DUI cases I do not oh okay no, darn it you'd be good Darn. Ooh, Deleting good. you from my address. Hey, everybody deserves a defense. True? True dad. True. Okay. I'll put you on my speed dial. Yeah. You good got luck. it. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank <laughs> you, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why didn't I have that ready? Thank you, Scott. There we go. Yes, thank you. Haven't heard that in a while. Uh, it has been, been a minute. Yeah. I, I haven't done anything. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't deserve it. It's accurate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, everybody, that's it for us. Uh, Stay tuned. After the music, we will have the winner of the 818 Brewing Contest winner. I'm so excited. Fingers crossed. (laughs) I can tell you who it's not going to be. Is it me? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Thank you all for listening. Thank you for uh, entering the contest. I hope you guys have a great time at their big uh, fourth anniversary. Lots of good beer releases. Lots of fun to be had and uh, two different sessions. Make sure you pick the right one because one's going to be better than the other. It always happens. They're like, don't say that. They're both going to be great, but you don't know which one the right one is. Anyways, thanks for listening. TheUnfilteredGentleman.com. Find us on the social medias at TheUnfilteredGentleman. At UnfilteredGents on Twitter. Our phone number, 805-538-BEER. It's 2337. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we do have some swag that will be given away at the uh, 818 party. Oh, yeah. So, a couple shirts and a hat. So go uh, check that out. Even if you don't win the tickets, make sure you go hang out for their for their anniversary bash. Uh, you can find more tickets at 818brewing.com. Thank you all for listening. I hope everyone is staying very well hydrated. Thank you, Brian, for joining us once again. Thank you. And for bringing in the best named beer in the world, Leader of Cola. And uh, everyone out there, stay hydrated. And on that note, good night, everybody. And now, the winner of the 818. 818- 
four-year anniversary contest is Tyler, a.k.a. Darth Ginger 52 Thanks, everyone, for playing, and hopefully we have a new giveaway for everyone very soon. Thanks again, Tyler. Thanks again, everybody else. Stay hydrated.